Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to my media TV. My name is Hola. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It depends on the times and the location where you are watching us from. I hope I met you guys in peace. So welcome back guys today we have some report for you from Osh Poppy case postpones and Tiwa Savage falling in love and also Peter Obi and Bob Risky case and also a terrorist was apprehended in Abuja these are the things we have in book for you just keep your finger crossed and watch this video welcome back guys today we have something to discuss with each other as we they do on this channel former dubai big boy who was arrested in june 2021 in dubai which his name is Osh Poppy. the case have now been postponed vividly guys i think you don't forget that Osh Poppy was arrested in 2020 around june when he was arrested by the u.s interpol in dubai his house was bogu and he was arrested and he was flew down to United States for the crime of money laundries and fraud. So since then, the case is in America. We've been hearing different kind of updates about this case. Vividly last time we heard that maybe the judge want to fix a date for the judgment, which they are going to sentence him. Maybe he's guilty or not. Because a lot of things have been on ground for Arch Poppy the case of fraud, the case of money laundries, and all sort of cases like that. So a lot of people have been waiting for US judgment, how they are going to give the verdict regarding to Osh Poppy case. Vividly, I think you don't forget that recently, uh, the US gave a judgment in New York to R. Kelly and gave him 30 years and plus five years monitorings in prison. So now we are expecting Osh Poppy case so that they should give the judgment because the case has also started in 2020. So this is the new reports that come out today I, that I said I should bring to you guys. Let me read it as it is. The United States Central District Court in California has postponed the sentence of a Nigeria fraudster Ramon Abbas known as Osh Poppy for the second time. Vividly, guys, I think you don't forget this is the second time they are postponing this judgment. According to the Prime Times report, Judge Altis arrived the felt September 21 as the new sentence date for Hodge Poppy. At the request of the council, the sentence is continued to 21 of night 2022 at 1.30 p.m. Before judgment, OT does trade rights as defender Ramon Olorunwa Abbas, the court announced made June 24. Osh Papi pleaded guilty in April 2021, according to the court, documented by the United States Department of Justice, DOG, to the multiple million dollars fraud charge filed against him by the United States government. A version of Osh Papi agreed file to June outline his role is in the school finance scheme as is well several other cyber and business email compromise scheme that cumulative cost more than 24 million dollars in losses he pleaded guilty to the count two which is conspiracy to engage in money laundry an offense that attracts a minimum sentence of 20 years imprisonment among other punishment include full restitutions his plead agreement with the u.s government state is part recall that osh Poppy was arrested in june the united states of arab emirates uae in june 2020 and subsequently flew to U.S., Osh Poppy pleaded guilty to the charge in June 2021 and was ordered to remain in custody pending the sentence. The sentence hearing was initially moved by June Wright from February 14th to July 11th and now been moved to September 21 at the council request. He has been in custody since the arrest in Dubai and renditions to U.S. in June 2020. He therefore entered into a pleaded bargain agreement with the U.S. government in July 2021 in the hope of getting a lighter punishment despite pleaded guilty. Osh Poppy will not be accepted from paying restrictions. That is the update about Osh Poppy, my beautiful people. So but we are expecting the judgment of Osh Poppy to come out so soon, but I think they are going to give this guy 
at least 20 to 30 years imprisonment for him yeah, america there's something america don't really want they don't want people play on their intelligence they don't want people coming to them by taking their money or scamming them i really think this guy is going to face a real punishment from u.s government because he has already committed a crime against the u.s government for u.s government to come to dubai to take this guy and flee this guy back to america you will know that he has committed a big crime i think as we are looking at the situation of things they may give to him between 20 to 30 years imprisonment that is for the case of hush puppy there and it already sent a signal to all these yahoo guys who engage in money laundries and other stuff they should stop all these things if you don't stop this is how it's going to end so that's for the hush puppy there we are moving on to another topic anyway guys our beautiful mama in the music industry madam tiwa savage has now find somebody uh, you know remember do you remember a song that is sung vividly that uh, somebody song go love me one day so i think she has already find somebody's son who will love her this time around so she went on the stage to tell for her female fans that there is a guy who is toasting her and she tell the guy that he should come to our show but the guy said he cannot come so to a savage tell uh, female fans on the stage like that because why she did this is because she said we have beautiful ladies in this stage and i have already explained to my guy who is toasting me that i've never accepted for should not come here because if she if he come here you beautiful ladies here can take him from me so i think vividly we should congratulate to a savage for having a toaster now that is she is looking up to to accept for say that is what to a savage said there about this guy do you know one thing i like about this to a savage things uh, when it she comes on stage is that she know how to talk to our female fans she know how to talk to our fans to make their them so happy so she know how to uh, carry the audience along with that so that's what i see about to savage when she talks on stage she's a very good actress and she's very brilliant in performing and you know it carry our audience along every time so you can hear from her when she made the statements and the fans was like oh because that is what they want that is what they want from to savage that is what they want from all these artists created these scenes that can ginger the art the the audience so that's it for them there you can watch the video where to savage make the statement on the stage there's one guy that's been toasting me can i can i tell can i tell you so he was with me at the last show and he was saying to me like you know i don't think i can make it to stockholm and i was kind of sad but i am happy he did not come because you see all these fine girls <laughs> I am happy he went home. So welcome back guys. As Tua Savage don't find her own love. Now so but Brissy come online to say her own story about how people are using bad phone and android phone to take our pictures and it shows a lot of damage on our skins so a lot of people have been seeing different kind of various of pictures of bob riskis on internet you will see bob riskis sometimes he will look very beautiful and you also see him sometimes he will look very ugly in some pictures on internet so these guys have been noticing that a lot of people have been taking his pictures and they have been putting it on the internet for to criticize him for other things and one or the other so now today Bobriski see a lot of pictures where his face is being ugly for those of you who have never seen the picture see the picture yeah i think you can see the picture now that is the picture i want to show you you can see Bobriski there and also see this one so you can see the difference now so that is what Bobriski is really really annoyed with this time around so he, today he went on his, his or her page to write something he said i don't know what is in some people's phone the moment they snap you like this you will look like someone keke jam nobody should use any android phone to snap me only iphone 13 if you don't have iphone 13 just keep your phone in your pocket wow that one is coming from bobriski there so bobriski has really declared that anybody want to take his or her pictures in the event has to use iphone 13 so if you don't have iphone 13 
it is risky to take a picture of Bob Risky. Please don't even do that because it is very risky to take Bob Risky picture. Don't do that if you do that. Bob Risky have said he will definitely deal with anybody who take his picture. So my dear brother, it is very risky now to take Bob Risky picture. So that is it on Bob Risky saga. So welcome back guys. So it is a new development now in the Labour Party zone as Kwan Council has really declined for being the VP to Peter Obi. So it's, it's a big trouble for Peter Obi now because they are hoping up that they can merge with NMPP, which is the Kwakwaso party and Peter Obi party, so that they can have that kind of a power to win the general election in 2023 by beating the PDP and APC. But it's a new drama now, as Kwakwaso has already said it is so small for him to be the vp and he gives some instances which why he cannot be the vp of peter obi for those of you who have not watched the video when he gave some instances about being a vp you can watch the video president and i think the constitution was deliberate to ensure that everybody is involved in the country and uh, I believe that uh, it is in the interest of the Labour Party and the NNPP and even in the interest of this, this country because we have seen a situation uh, today where many people in the South East believe that they are being uh, 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 marginalized. And um, it will even be worse actually if they are not involved in the 2023 uh, uh, project. Uh, because LP, and as it stands today, certainly it cannot win election. Really? Uh, oh yes, it cannot win election. You can, it cannot win a presidential election. Not, not, not Why in twenty twenty. Cannot. Well, because mainly the support is mainly in in particular zone. There is just no spread, and the figures there cannot uh, earn anybody presidential seat in this. So welcome back. I think you've watched the video now where Kwakwa also made the statement that he cannot be the VP, that he wants Peter Obi to be the VP while him be the president. Now the issue is we have Northern president as we're talking right now. Are we still going to have another Northern president? If these guys are not damnly greedy, they're supposed to know that the power shuffle between the North and the South, it should be the terms of the South now. So why is he fighting to be the president? Why is he willing to be the president? I want Peter Obi to be the vice president. So that is for that. I think that is, has really created a great issues in the Labour Party zone. And Labour Party as a national chairman went on their platform to roast some on their page and he said the truth of the matter is that it is in the interest of Kwakwaso to take the vice presidency. Peter Obi is the is the only man of the movement. He has the credentials and he is the most popular presidential candidate as we speak now. I think you don't forget that it is totally true. I concur with this statement that the Labour Party has made as we totally say now presidential candidate that we can see is Peter Obi. I think is more popular in the mind of the youth of Nigeria. A lot of people have taken the bonds on themselves to campaign for him without giving them chichi or a little money to campaign for him. So I think truly we should accept the fact that this guy, Peter Obi, is really popular in the midst of the youth and all the people who have been suffering from Nigeria. What's the difference between Peter Obi, uh, Atiku and Tinubu? What the people are looking up to is that Peter Obi is a capitalist and is highly hoping on how to develop Nigeria. Nigeria. So what he's saying, he said you should go and verify. So because he has an evidence on ground that he always show people that I have done this, I have done that, people should go and watch it, people should go and see it. And a lot of people have verified this of course and they have seen it. So that is why it's more popular and the way he talks, you will know he really wants to carry people along and he really means business. That is why people really love him. So I don't even see Kwakwanso in this scenario. Kwakwanso is saying oh, we have the highest boat in the northern Party, we have this, we have that. Truly, they may have it, but I know that Kwakaso cannot win the president alone. Why would we cannot win the president alone? They have to come together. If they don't come together, definitely they have already given the space for PDP and APC to win the general election in 2023. That is for that on Kwakaso and Obi. Let's move into another topic. So, guys, there is a video that I saw on social media that's really the video I've been trending on social media right now that we have been watching that went to one Abuja, and a lot of people have been sharing different kind of opinions on this video but let me read the reports down for you so that you can know what really happens on this video 
This is just happening now, right here. A terrorist enter my church, Akenje Raphael Catholic Church, Garipi Abuja Police Barracks. He dressed up with uh, to band his face, wore a face cap, police face cap, and dark shade. And they started asking him, "Stop! Stop! Stop! Stop!" He now drove where the men were having meeting. We started shouting, "Please, you push, you come out and stop him!" They now stopped him. He now said then that he is here to see somebody. So they always have a point, a pointer in the church that he wants to see the guy. And the guy now came. They now called, invited the guy. The guy now said he's not his friend though. That he doesn't even know him from anywhere. After much invest, uh, interrogation, he now said he's from Abia. We are in Abia. He cannot see. He now said that he's uh, he's part of his uh, relations that are from Ethiopia. Ha! So what are you doing dead like this? He now started saying that he's going to call the IG. And I said, okay, meanwhile, in, in this list, uh, uh, barracks, we have those working with IG. We have the PPPRO of FCT here. I'm, I'm videoing his card. They saw some things from in his card, drugs and everything. So, so we're, we're just being careful now. And it's like Catholic Church is their target. Please, I beg all Catholics, I'm, I'm videoing this. It's happening on the 3rd of July 2022 in Akenje Rafael Garki. Please, this is for us. Please tighten your security. Please, I beg we Catholics, let us don't take anything for granted. Now, the boy is, the guy is in a police station in Garki here. Thank you. this is the report so as in the church stories they said they saw this guy and they tried to interrogate him you know they you should know that a lot of things are happening in nigeria now before they will accuse him or they will do a jungle justice to this guy they have to take him to psychiatric to test his brain he may not be fine and he may be fine maybe you can if you want to uh you cannot catch a terrorist barehanded without ammunitions because a terrorist always have a gun or have um bomb in their body so if you claim this guy is a terrorist and you catch him like that he doesn't have gun he doesn't have uh, all these things ammunition with him definitely i think you guys should do a terror investigation before you crucify him because i know my people before you know now they will put tire on his neck and do a crazy things like that that is what is happening in this video so my beautiful people this is just the report we have for you today if today is the first day you are coming on this channel don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification bell so that anytime we upload our videos you will get notified may god bless you as you do so see you in another video